right? It's been brewed. Forget about everything uh, else, boys. There is a brood in the game. Nico baby, and that's the reason why they have to like make this rotation happen. And uh, since it's gonna be S4 here, I don't think Soneko's gonna get that many hits off, but it's still extremely scary. And I like that Haskin is focusing down the clinks because if they just let him- Oh no, that doesn't feel good. Haskin, Jesus, this, this man should play the lottery today. That, that was ridiculous. Your team fight is like really dependent on you snowballing and getting your black king bars early in the game. Yeah, and they, they hit their six at the same time, which is not really what you would expect from a brood lane, but yeah, Supreme really uh, kind of getting it shown to him. Look at this slip. The moment he comes into the lane, he just starts using his spells. Bottom lane, yeah, S4 getting himself away. Charlie pretty low as well. Meanwhile, up the top, Nico Baby's the one to fall. Kind of scary, I would say, for Nip here, because their window of being able to kill some of the Alliance heroes is starting to close, and Alliance are going to start grouping up rather soon. The Death Prophet ult is coming out bottom. Hanskin just protecting S4 yeah. here. Charlie could be in some trouble. The charge is going to come through. They kind of want to get his ulti out of him, but Aerith making his way over, and they're going to pop the ultimate onto S4. Is there a go from NIP or not? They're looking for it. Yep, Chen ulti not going to come out, but Charlie's time to chop away at S4. S4 might be losing his life. He's gone, and they've got a disruption on Hanskin as well. Hanskin, not on mana, does just now get the mana for the Charge of Darkness. It's a very slow run here, and he might just about make it one stack of boys and should not be enough oh, to bring him down. Bring him about but Soneko, yeah, he's still chasing. Soneko's still got him here, if he's fast enough which he certainly is. And skin, a couple of arrows in his back, should take care of him. Oh, it's close, but they do have themselves that cow and will be having some beef for dinner. So that's going to be rather annoying for them to be able to uh, pick him off some, in some ways, unless Nico Baby goes overly aggressive and wastes his ultimate as Done well. out onto Charlie. The charge is going to connect as well. He doesn't have that ultimate available for use, even if he did have the chance to use it. So Charlie's going to lose his life in the bottom lane, and Soneko and Ira are out of there. That is really insanely fast. Blink. He's got power treads, braces, soaring blink. Like this guy, this is a 1700 HP Dragon Knight, minute 12 with the dagger. Oh no, they might have found Sableye here as well because they TP in the Dragon Knight. He blinks himself forwards onto the Sensor. Sensor trying to get himself away. Disruption gonna buy him a few precious seconds, but I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference. They jump him, they kill him, and now they look for the plus one. Era, Nico Baby inside his ultimate just keeps on chasing here. The stun does connect, and Era's gonna lose his life as well. In the mid lane though, Supreme finds something and might be finding a couple of things as he's keeping the chase going on to Hanskin. He's running through the trees, but Hanskin, that's not where you want to go versus the Brood. She doesn't have any problems chasing you through there. Nico Baby has been seen. This guy does not have his ultimate, though, nor does he have any mana at all, so... No, I mean, FNG is definitely, like, a high Dota IQ player. This guy really knows where to be, and especially when you put a player like this... Oh, mid lane, though. They're jumping onto the Brood. They've got the charge coming through as well. X isn't being used. Alliance, they are all partying on down, but a huge stomp comes out from Sableye. This is enough to save Supreme. It might well just be the hand of God around and Supreme's gonna be the one to die and it looks like Sableye should be heading the same way as that Spirit Siphon does so much work to him. And looking forward, looking onto the Shadow Demon, Charge is gonna connect as well. Error is probably gonna be the next kill in this lineup here. Suneko, he's sitting by, he is invisible, but there's nothing he can do about this. They really want to see if they can get some bounty runes here, um, but Suneko already picked those up. So, yeah, it's got a few. Oh, is he being hunted? He's being stared at right now. And the axes are going to come through. They've got the hard scale to army coming down as well. But the mech comes out from the Chen, keeping him alive. They've only got him to about half HP. And now the retaliation comes cutting on through. Charlie in some trouble being netted up. Nico Baby's on top of him as well. He's got to pop the ultimate. He realizes he has to, but he doesn't really have a target. They're still chasing FNG through all of this. And they don't even bring him down. Charlie is going to be the death instead. Alliance, they just keep on responding. And NIP, they, they can't even kill a Chen. They've been, they can't even kill a Chen. I mean, what, what state are they in right now? Oh, God, really Supreme, really not like this. Caught out in the trees. The hunting is relentless. The power, the just constant pressure from Alliance. Another big stomp Ooh, in, but a little slug just about gets off the Shadow Dance in time. Sableye trying to make it back to his high ground, won't be able to do so. Snake and runs him, and he'll drop into about half HP just from the AoE damage they've got. He's just got to slink his way back, and NIP seem to have very little say on how this game is going so far. We'll see if they can uh, start to take control and do as you say right now. I mean, the good thing about the clinks, at least. Oh, charge coming through. Saber Light, he's going to be the target of this one with Hanskin and Nico Baby on top of him. There's not much chance of Sentinel getting himself out of this one. Could pop the Stampede, but there's not really much point at this stage. He is gone. A little bit of Courier Micro just to try and get it away from the hungry eyes of FNG, and he will duke it around quite nicely. I mean, 
I think Supreme has any interest in uh, saving him, but Seneca just kind of trying to run him through the trees. And you know what? Limp's like, ah, screw it. I don't Charlie. need to pull links. They try to go for him, but they gotta back off. Oh, this might be the opportunity here, but the center is Two dead. Two heroes, maybe caught out here. Here is trying to just keep the slot control, but no. S4, he's turning up to this one. He's got those ghosts and they are ready to go. The stun comes out. Charlie, he can't die, but he doesn't have a choice. He's just gonna get melted by the damage of Alliance like chocolate under a flame. He just goops away into nothing. Yeah, and S4 running all the way from top, all the way to the bottom bounty runes. He doesn't want to give anything to Nip at all. They just keep going for objective after objective. Now, we got to consider that bounty runes and outposts are also objectives. You don't have to only get towers. Those things also give you gold. They're in the game, though. They're finding S4 here, and I don't think S4's got much of a counterplay. He's going to try and pop those spirit siphons, and actually, it's doing a decent amount of work keeping him alive, even with the demonic purge on him. It's still doing a great job at getting him back, and Sableye trying to commit himself to this one, but the hammer got coming out as well. S4, he's too tanky. He's not dying. Snake out, trying to get the TP away. Handskin not even going to try and hit him up there. S4's going to be a little bit careful inside that skeleton army. Meanwhile, they look over towards Era, but yeah, as you say, in mid, they're going for Supreme. Supreme is going to lose his life. FNG dies at bottom, but it's a worthwhile trade as they'll kill off the spider and they kill off era as well Dinosaur alliance once again i mean trading two heroes for a chen you will take that every single day of the week fng does not mind at all in fact probably quite happy about it and yeah. nico baby he's, he's still looking to charlie now they jump in limp with the stun straight on him is there anything to save him here there is sableye comes through and this allows him to get off that battle trance but there is a heaven's halberd out on the dragon knight now disarming charlie making him useless they're gonna throw in the disruption but you are just simply delaying the inevitable at this stage try try to make it to the high and Nico baby runs him down and now looking towards Era as well. Ultimate comes out. Lin meanwhile looking at the back lines. That's where they want Sableye, but they get the kill onto Era regardless. Alliance just keep it coming. They just keep on serving up aces towards NIP. And they are struggling to return every single time. He's got a lot more HP than you normally would expect. And this is why I think like Centaur and Broodmother really need to play together in this situation. Because like this troll, he's just so under farmed with them. Dyer's bottom tower is and now we look forward on to Saberlight. He's been caught out a little bit here. Dared to go into his own jungle and try to farm. What a fool as he gets run down once again. Alliance absolutely owning the map at this point. This guy is an absolute genius of the game, right? And now he gets this, this might be the first time where he gets to play with a player like S4, who's yeah. also a captain and also another player who has extremely high Dota IQ. You know, FNG, I, I find it interesting that you say two great minds in the same team results in, you know, a perfect balance of uh, sharing the responsibilities, you said. I think that's not always the case. I think sometimes you have like a clash of minds, you know, there have been a few all star teams oh, yeah, in the past, sure. which uh, haven't really worked out so well, but this one definitely looking really good. And you can see that when you talk to S4 as they jump forward on Snako here. Snako, he's trying to fight up into Nico, not doing a terrible job, but will still lose his life. Find back into this one and try to make something happen as they jump in just to clear up those creeps. Sableye battling with the Kobold he just dug up, and well, at least he can beat that, but it doesn't look like he can do the same thing to many members of Alliance right now as they're just taking their base for free. I mean, there is no resistance he's being offered right now and now they're even going to jump forward onto supreme save like trying to make his way over does land the stun but through mother still getting run down here heaven's held but up so she can't even turn around and heal herself up and both supreme and Sableye gone and that's it they just cool it they, they just tap out gg is thrown into the air and that is going to be game number one inside 24 minutes going the way of alliance and i mean i didn't expect this series to be a stomp but after this first game, I can certainly see it turning into an NIP. They got to dig deep in game number two and come out with something better than this because this brew did not work. No? TA? All right. TA. All right. Okay. That's the Supreme special, and I like it better than my it. ideas because it gives you this ability to just get super ahead. Exactly, exactly. And this is where, like, I would have rather nip try lane the timber here and, like, really, you know, maybe get a kill or two on him and just they snowball the right. troll. Well, some trouble in the top lane, stomp up the timber saw, and that might have just got him out of there. But it's the bottom oh, lane where the action's really happening. FNG gets killed off by Charlie. So finally, this aggressive try lane finds something, and then look at the Nico baby as well here. Charlie's making a way over, does have the axes, but the time walk away from Nico. And look at Nico baby, he's still got eight lasses, he's fighting against three heroes bottom. And now, yeah. uh, Haskin has decided to join up in the bottom lane here. Uh -oh. S4 already has that advantage on the top. Yeah, nice two-man blast from Seneca, but it looks like Era might be the one in trouble as he got Frost Blast comes through. Jump forwards from Nico, baby. Did they see this as an opportunity? No, they will not. Era will just lose his life. That rotation catch them by surprise. 
Timbersaw can stay under tower and Sentinel kind of can't, so that seems to be where the difference comes in. But yeah, I mean, the Sentinel's doing okay on their worth, but S4 is just absolutely mm -hmm. humongous. He is giant, and he is a... He's just a big, big boy. Meanwhile, Hans again, they're trying to go onto him, but they won't finish the job. And now Lim just popping the ultimate with S4 coming in from behind Supreme, losing oh his life God. so quickly. They do get the kill onto Hanskin, but they will trade for Supreme, which is a very nice trade for Alliance indeed. Oh my God. It's a really well-timed outpost taken. He does give uh, a bunch of XP for his entire team, even though he did die like a stampede, you know, for a death and... The yeah, like, like, oh my god! <laughs> he just casually strolls into the top lane and just straight up executes Saber. Wow. Alliance are allowed to just freely roam the map, and now I appear a little bit more honed in. They are going to have some yeah. issues arising. It's also going to be a lot more difficult for NIP to help one another uh, defend towers or like when they're getting gone on because these tier ones are dead and they're not going to be able to farm up so. Uh, era. Uh, he's gonna jump down on this. I'm not sure that's a play because Supreme is there and he's gonna take himself a little bit of meals on wheels. Meanwhile, S4 will bring down Era in the end, but they're gonna use a stampede to get Supreme out of danger along with Seneco. So saving two lives with one stampede. That's what we like to see. Meanwhile, Sableye once again Bottom. taking it, to, but this time the Chronosphere is gonna come down onto him and allow Damn. Lim to get in time. Sableye running to the tree line here. Where it's Siphon comes in a nice bash from Nico, baby. Cuts down Sableye. S4 and again, too. Oh my goodness, they are just not stopping. Cream is here trying to deal some damage towards S4 and, uh, you know, punish him a bit, but they're already out. Keep shoving the lane into the tier two, but maybe this clockwork pick is putting a little bit more pressure onto uh, at least Limp over here. Save a light. He's being greedy. Oh, He's going for it, but he actually gets bashed up by Nico Baby before he can get the last hit on the tower. So it is just going to go to the dub. It doesn't get denied. Save a light. Try to get the TP away, and they're going to have to use him to make sure that he doesn't escape this one. But they will bring him down. Centaur dies to grab that tower at the very least, but um, not a great trade. But it's clearly something he's okay with because it's kind of causing Alliance to play a little bit inefficiently, if you will. But I still don't yeah, think it's going to die there, really. For sure, you really don't want to die there like that, but it, it is giving some information, I suppose. And it looks like they're going to get a DD rune on the TA. They're thinking about Roshan, but nope. Alliance already on top uh, of it. They are on top of it. They're popping the exit as well, just trying to bring down this TA as quickly as possible. But the hookshot comes in to lift, stops him getting off that ultimate. But now, in comes oh, no. the on the back line. That's going to take down Supreme and Seneco in seconds. And now comes in the ultimate on the top lines from the Phoenix. And Charlie, he's just chopping away, and his life is gone. Four heroes dead. They try to fight with their sensor and it ends up being an awful mistake a beautiful series of events for alliance that chronosphere that egg everything just going their way and now they will take down the big boy and grab themselves an aegis they go for something here smoke comes out and smoke's gonna get popped by air so they know there's someone in this middle lane and they're trying no, to bait so. with their cause interesting and they're gonna oh find fng God, is the hero they want to get on him well they will bring him down and now stampede being used by sable trying to get himself out while well, everyone going on oh, going in. they're looking for s4 meanwhile nico baby turns up to this one doesn't have an ultimate but does have an aegis and he's happy just to hit people meanwhile charlie left alone his team have kind of bailed him now but not Soneko. he comes in gets the ultimate saves a day meanwhile s4's having some trouble but charlie changing targets over towards nico baby instead but he's taken so much damage he's probably just going to lose his life once it's ultimate dead. He doesn't, but die, he certainly will. And with two heroes on the side of NIP, they decide to call it, but uh, Supreme trying to get himself back. So that if they do come to him, then he can just kill someone off and then go back into a defensive position of fun. I love Nico Baby though, just pump faking the Chronosphere, trying to get, <laughs> force this TA back into base. It's like, no, you, you, you don't get to hit creeps. I decide what you get to hit. I've got the Chronosphere. Meanwhile, Supreme, he's, he's given Nico Baby's truffles a bit of a ruffling, but we'll be able to blink away. Not too many bashes today. Bottom. Maybe might not Bottom. be done with him, but you're right. It is Hero who's in trouble, and he's going to die. Meanwhile, the Chronosphere does come down, but uh, Snake is not inside. He's going to throw down the ultimate before he gets silenced. A really heads up play here, though. There's a lot of damage coming in to Supreme right oh, now. Man. He needs to get himself away. He's got the blink, and he wanted to want to turn this one around. They're going to take the Aegis away, and Limp in some trouble as well under that tower, but tries to turn it around with the Spirit Siphon. It's healing up so much inside that yours. Now they jump forward for more. Sableye under the tier fours. Really, guys? You're right. They are going to back themselves up, but now Charlie coming into this oh. one problem. Everyone's really trying to bring him down, but won't be able to bring down Nico Baby and now taking a lot of damage and doesn't have the ultimate. They've got no fail to eat promise for him either. Sableye like, throwing his life into this one. He needs to get back, but Nico Baby stays on him. Timber chain forwards as well. The center with the essence ring is enough to keep him alive. No, because the bash from through from Nico Baby. Me, Master Nico under the tier fours has no counterplay. And suddenly there just happens to be four heroes dead on the side of NIP. So close to going their way, but just a Damn. couple of hundreds of HSPs. I just find the way they played it so interesting. I mean, obviously, this is 
draft from theirs is is perfect. It's 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 looking fantastic because even though they only had a very slight gold lead, in fact, some points didn't even have a gold lead in this game. But there's been no point in this game where you've thought they're not really far ahead. Just the way they're playing. But now they're gonna look for something and they're gonna find FNG. That's a nice little entry kill, but I don't think they're gonna turn into much else. Though they're going forward onto Lin here and they are gonna be able to take that stampede. Slow them down. Now everybody else getting on top. The heal's coming out from Hanskin though. He's also got a supernova. Should he want to use it? Can they take down Lin though? Lin with his very size from doing so much work, but they will be able to bring him yeah. down with the bottom from Charlie. Now they'll look over towards S4. This could be the fight they're looking for, but Charlie, he's running out of health. He's dead. Supreme as well being controlled on by S4. He's on top of him, and Supreme's gonna die as well. Three heroes now missing on the side of NIP, and it is just an escape plan now. Gonna try and ri play Ring of Ring and the Rosie with S4 through the trees here. Is S4 really that bothered about Era? He does seem to be, but he's really struggling to kill off this clockwork by himself. He's got a Yurzo to hold him still if someone else wants to come over. With the positioning of the rest of Alliance's heroes and then jump in once again. Once, you know, Centaur has another stun or Clockwork has, you know, another battery assault or whatever it may be. Rip Era. Era. Some trouble. Yeah, looking like those who pressed one are correct. No big surprise here. Right? The healing, you know, you gotta reduce that healing for the troll order to make him a bit tankier. It seems like some players are starting to favor this item a little bit more nowadays. And Chrono comes down onto Charlie. Does he have the damage to take him down? Well, he certainly does. This troll just gets taken 100 to zero by the double damage faceless void. A tip coming out for Charlie as well. So, well, at least you get some shards for your efforts, but not much of a softening to the blow, which was just dealt to poor old Charlie here. Jesus, it is. It is looking dark. It is looking real dark. Uh, Supreme? Really? Really? They're going to drop the ultimate. They're going to drop train pulse. They just get the kill straight up. They just jump him and bring him down. They have the lockdown. Meanwhile, a hookshot across from Era. Nice and Nixon, baby, actually blocking it there with the time jump forward. Oh. The time walk in. Wow. Nick baby sending back lines. 20 seconds until that chronosphere. They don't even care, though. They know how strong they are. And they are happy to take the fight to NIP. They, then they just can't do anything about this. <laughs> Look at Charlie's just taking so much damage from the ghosts alone, and well, they don't oh, finish the job. The hook shot in the backlines onto FNG. Era trying to bring down the easy kill, and they will get this one. But now, how do you recover? Where do you go? Era might lose his last stampede being used to try and keep him alive. Meanwhile, on the high ground, is Lin who could be in some trouble. Charlie, they're going to drop the ultimate down on top of him to keep him alive, but. Really, I mean, what's this gonna do? I think he's still dead anyway. He's trying to make it back to the fountain, but he's even got a spirit vessel on him. Boom, he's gone. And now they look over towards Sableye as well. Sableye's so stunned, gonna land onto nothing. Nico Baby just playing it carefully. And now the Chrono just on the edge, holding Supreme back. There's nothing they can do to keep him alive. The TA is dead as well. And they'll even find the Oracle on the sidelines with the extra plus one. Ah, oh, I'm just getting so bored of saying this, Steven, but four heroes dead and MIP. What, you what got, did you get your answer? Oh, wait a minute. We, we might get five heroes dead on NIP. <laughs> no, no, he's, he's back inside the base. Era respawns. But yeah, they've got the top barracks. They're looking towards mid now as well. Alliance, they still have the, the uh, supernova. But I mean, to be honest, they, they don't even feel like they need their ultimates anymore. They've, they've had their fights. They've had their kills. And now they just feel so much stronger. And that's because they are. They got to get this space's void into stun lock and drain all his mana and hopefully he will die because if he does die, he doesn't have a buyback. But he's got, they gotta go through 3000 HP here though. It's uh, it's something. And now they see Sableye on the front lines. They're gonna throw the Yules down. And they actually gotta commit to this kill. Looks like they will. They get the fear from the high ground from FNG. A beautiful play to lock him down. And Sableye is just gone. They're trying to find the return kill on to S4 on the sidelines. That won't happen. Now the Yules comes down onto Templar Assassin. Holding us still. Meanwhile, Charlie looking towards Limp here. But Limp is just really tanky. And Charlie is not. He's losing his. He doesn't even get the ultimate off. He's just dead before he can even use it. And they're gonna throw it down. G to the G. Inside 30 minutes, they will take game number two. And NIP just get torn apart. Damn, the chicken did Pajamas get absolutely fried in this series. Dude, we were talking about how like this was gonna be a hype